Meantime, Napa winemakers still in bottle shock tonight as they total up the losses from that earthquake. KCRA 3's David Beenick shows us the damage inside one winery and what that will mean for wine prices. Using forklifts and cables, workers at the Hess Collection Winery are slowly picking apart a giant jumble of collapsed wine barrel racks. Just try to start from the top and just be as safe as you can be. Hess's 110-year-old main building is still standing, but some of its huge stainless steel vats crumpled like cans during the quake, and a swimming pool's worth of what would have someday been $60 a bottle Cabernet poured out the door, onto the courtyard, and into the ground. If you just do the simple math, that's about $4 million worth of wine at retail. <laughs> Hess's James Caudle says no total estimate yet, but add in the lost equipment, the lost visits to its tasting room, and damaged sculptures in its art museum, and the quake will likely be this business's biggest disaster ever. We haven't had any earthquakes or any big events like this, um, so I would, I'm sure that this probably is the biggest, the biggest challenge. Some Napa wineries suffered even worse damage, but most say they had only a few broken glasses. Napa accounts for about 7% of California's wine sales, so experts say wine prices are likely to be unaffected, except for a few high-end bottles. You know, there's going to be occasional companies that are producing $100 bottles that don't have enough product, and so there'll both be a shortage and they might well raise price. The next challenge here in Napa will be the harvest. These grapes are just about ready to be picked, but the people who normally do that work have their hands full. The Hess Collection hopes to be cleaned up enough to reopen to the public by this weekend. It hopes that wine lovers will pitch in on its recovery by using a corkscrew. In Napa, David Bean, KCRA 3 News. And David tells us Hess Collection does have earthquake insurance, but says that probably won't pay for all the damage and lost supply.